Hello! I come to you today with a ramble that is sort of linked to my biomedical science videos, but partly not, so I'm going to class it as a ramble. And you'll probably see it will be very rambly. Let's just go. So mostly this is going to be about body image. Um, I have been going through some medical treatment over the last few months, which has um, sort of radically changed how I view my body and how it is viewed by others. Um, I've also joined um, the Feminist Orchestra book club and been reading The Beauty Myth by Naomi Watts. And I think sort of all of this together has just made me want to voice some thoughts. Um, they may not be coherent thoughts, but they are thoughts. So I have been undergoing treatment for breast cancer, for anyone who doesn't know, which is meant for about the last six months I've had no hair um, anywhere on my body. And a couple of weeks ago I had a single mastectomy. This means that when I look in the mirror, it doesn't seem like me that's looking back. However, it is me. And I feel that I've come to terms with this reasonably well. Um, and part of the way that I've done that is to take a lot of selfies um, and post them everywhere and anywhere on the internet and send them direct to anyone who'll look at them and um, I feel like look, looking at myself a lot has helped me come to terms with the changes that have happened to my body. Um, Alina over at uh, Kiss My Frog did a good video quite a long time ago about um, selfies, so I'll link that down below, check that out. Um, yeah, and that sort of links back to how women especially are often made to feel ashamed when they take selfies and enjoy the way that they look, um, and really that's bullshit because you should love the way you look. Obviously people put a lot of time and effort into it, whether that's a good thing or not doesn't matter. If you want to and you do, that's great. And you don't want to and you don't, that's great. I think it's when it's sort of the other way around that you start to become unhappy. Um, I've always been someone who has worn a lot of makeup and I do now because otherwise I wouldn't have eyebrows or eyelashes or anything like that. In that respect, things haven't really changed, but I think I've started to feel as though I have to do that rather than I want to do it necessarily. Um, I want to do it because I want to look a certain way, as in like everybody else who has facial hair, which sounds weird. Facial hair always makes you sound like you mean tash, but in this case, I literally mean like eyebrows and eyelashes. But sometimes there's days when I don't want to spend that extra 15 minutes doing that. I just want to go out the house, nip to the shops and come back. Now, I have gone bald for most of the time that I have been bald um, and been totally fine with it. However, sort of the rest of your face is different, I think. And one of the big things that I've struggled with is if I go out anywhere without my eyebrows on especially, I get a lot of face from people and a lot of sympathy. And like, as in, well, obviously you don't want to look this way, so I'll feel sorry for you. And I don't want to look this way because it wasn't a choice to lose all of my hair, but I also don't want people making the assumption that it wasn't. Like a few times I've been um, like at a bar and like people have said something, like made a joke about the fact that I've got no hair and then I'm like, well, actually it's because of this. And they're like, oh, well, I didn't think it was a choice. And I immediately like, well, why, why didn't you think it was a choice? Maybe it could be a choice. I look awesome bald, so why would I not want to do that? And I find it just difficult because I don't want to, but I don't want other people to assume that I don't want to. Does this make sense? And it's exactly the same with my boob. All of the medical staff have assumed that I will be having reconstructive surgery to the point that no one's actually asked me yet. Um, everyone's just assumed doesn't matter at the moment because it's going to be probably about a year before it's even an option so I might have changed my mind but the thing that annoys me again is the assumption that well obviously you'll want to and again I get that because being symmetrical is nice and being able to wear normal bras is nice but at the same time don't assume anything because in my head at the moment I'm coming to terms with how I look again looking at myself naked quite a lot um, to 
let it sink in and come to terms with it. And my current feelings are I don't really want reconstructive surgery. I don't want to put myself through at least two more major operations just to even myself up when I don't feel uneven, if that makes sense. I think that's sort of the main thing that has irked me is that even though it comes from a good place, a lot of the medical staff will be like, well, you will feel upset and you will feel angry and you will feel incomplete and you will feel horrible about yourself, essentially. And I don't. I feel all right. I mean, I've had some nights of tears and sending naked pictures to my friends so that they can embed my boobs on their memory forever because they were awesome when they were both here. But now that it's gone, I still feel pretty awesome about myself. Maybe I shouldn't. And I think it's odd because at the moment I'm being made to feel bad about not feeling bad about it. I'm being made to feel uncomfortable when I say, actually, I'm alright with the fact that I look a little bit like Gollum when I take all my makeup off and that I look a little bit Frankenstein-ish when I take my top off. But I think that I'm also struggling with the fact that I can understand why people think this because I wear a wig and wear makeup. Um, I don't actually wear a, a prosthesis. I've got a fake boob to wear that I haven't worn at all so far. Um, but yeah, it's making me angry that other people feel a certain way about me and how I should feel. But it's also making me angry that I'm feeling bad about how I feel. Hopefully this makes some kind of sense. I don't know what sort of response I'm wanting to elicit from you. I just was wanting to put this out there and see if it sort of rings true with anybody else. I mean, not who has had any of the experiences that I've had, just that do your actions and thoughts, is there like that sort of cognitive dissonance between them or do you act a certain way and then get angry when people react to the way you act. So yeah, I'll wrap this up now because complicated feelings expressed ineloquently does not make for a good video. However, you've made it this far so thank you for watching.